why do I do what I do with something I get asked? Well, I love being paid really well. Yeah. Like, I do love doing that. And I think that you do what I do, your income is a direct correlation of how many people you help and how Agreed. good you are it. Do you know what I mean? Like money is an exchange of value. But actually, what I, the one of the main reasons I do is because I don't want people to feel like I felt back in the day when I was rock bottom. And more importantly, I had this conversation with a guy who I had on my podcast this morning. I don't want other people's family to have to go through what mine went through. Mm. And that's the big thing. But what fills me heart is when someone says, guy this morning said, Paul, you changed me life. I said, well, I didn't do that. You did it. I just told you what to do. What to do. I give you a few tools. You didn't have to use them and you did. That's a proper coach though. It is a proper coach. So then he he told me a story about his daughter got kicked out of school, no GCSEs and had a meltdown. She was like, I can't, what am I going to do with my life? And two years later, she's now running a business as a beauty therapist They've, they've built, they've built a, um, like a, a salon in the back garden. Like a little garden. She's making more money than him. And I was like, shit, mate, I had a full-on meltdown on my podcast. <laughs> I was like, mate, that is sensational. So when you hear, Cause it's cause you're effect. not just changing someone's yeah. life. It is the ripple effect. There's, there's, we, get, we get cards here all of the time, not from the members, ungrateful oh, bastards. So. <laughs> <laughs> Page but it's, I, it's, it's <laughs> but from the families and I'm like, holy shit, that fills my heart like right up. I'm going to go all the way back to you talking about kind of before we talked about impact. Yes. You talked about what really makes you tick now and it's kind of moving away from where you were. Mm-hmm. Do you think you had to do all of those things? So with that, you know, to realise that you don't need to do the 5 a.m. start and, you know, that's the middle of my day. It becomes a willy waving contest. <laughs> oh, you got up at three, I got up at two, and it's wave the willy. The only time I'm, I'm getting up then is when I'm going on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm what with mean? you on that one. It's the middle of the night. Yeah. But do you think you had to do it and test it? Yeah. And that kind of links then to that, we see that replicated. Did she, your, you know, podcast guest daughter, did she have to have, in the perception of many people, fail, walk out with no GCSEs to realise actually it's shit or bust? I think part of it, part of it you have to, but I think part of us gets sucked into that as well. Like, I'm like, if someone's doing it and it looks, and you, sometimes we're, being, we're looking to be told what to do. Yeah. And I'm like, I had to try that and think, well, I hate it's this. For me. To get there, I think we've got to try a bunch of things. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, funny enough, a lot of the things that are doing me life right now, I have taken the piss out of at some point. Yep. Ice baths. Until you've oh, you think it. you're hard, do you? I have taken the p- journaling for teenage girls. Why would I do that? Meditation, hippie shit. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Jiu-jitsu, rolling around the floor with other men with tight clothes on. <laughs> Gay. So, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if you're allowed to say that. Apparently, the new. Do you know this one? Zesty is the new way to say zesty. that. Zesty. Oh, he's I'm zesty. I'm just old. <laughs> I, didn't I didn't know even, that. Do you know what rizzing is yet? Oh, I've rizzed her up. No, I've heard he's got riz or she's got, got riz. Shattered up. That is. Uh-huh. He's got banter. Riz. He's got riz. <laughs> <laughs> I had an education last week in the car. Really uh, old. How old was the person giving you this education? Uh, Thirteen and eleven. Oh, uh, I both my kids. I uh, I risen. I was like, well, I rizzed your mum right up. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it meant something different. <laughs> uh, I thought I meant jizz, but... Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's, um, I, I think... I, well, I definitely had to go through all of those things to just realise whether I liked it, whether I didn't like it. And I'm sure at some point it worked for me. Um, and I've actually... I think one of the things that I became over the last five or six years, I'm a lot more open-minded. Mm. Like, I'm like, I don't have to hate it. I don't I'll have to do things that I hate. And I think it's a big fallacy in the personal development world that you have to do things that you hate all the time. Do you know what I mean? So you've kind of come full circle to that. I've tried and tested all of those things. I gave up football. I gave up the stuff that I wanted because yeah. everyone told me that I had yeah. to. Yeah. You've now got to the point where it's like everything is on your terms. I'll do it if I want to do it. The kids are going to Pretty much. Know, I think it's, I don't think we can build a life where we... Sometimes I have to eat shit. So for example, right now I'm having to turn down opportunities that I really don't want to turn down. But it's because my schedule's already full. Yeah. It's not as though my schedule's full of things that I hate. I got off at a chance to go on this... In invite only mastermind where you didn't have to pay you just had to be at a certain level and I was like fuck no there's some ballers in there I've been picked I have been picked and I was like I can't go not just because it was in Milton Keynes and I don't want to go to Milton Keynes <laughs> <laughs> but I was like it was too short notice and I was like I can't go and I got off another opportunity I'm like I can't do that either that's my biggest it's a first world FOMO. problem a little bit a little bit but it's not as though I'm doing something that I hate I've just I hate saying no to big opportunities yeah. especially when you first get started in business, you say yes to everything. Absolutely. Yes, 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 yes. You I have to. I also think, exactly that. Yeah. I also think saying yes to everything gets you where you need to I be because you're willing to do stuff that other people aren't willing yeah. to do. Yeah. 